Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to connect the PS4 controller to your PC completely wireless running the brand new Windows 11. So now let's jump into the video. For the first step, you have to open up your Bluetooth setting. So just click on the Windows and just type in Bluetooth. And after that, you're going to tap on Add Device. After that, you're going to tap on Bluetooth. And for now, on your controller, you're going to hold the shit and the PS button at the same time. So you're going to hold it for about like two or three seconds. You're going to see it's going to start flashing just like this. And after that, you're going to see here on your Bluetooth device a wireless controller so for that give it a few seconds and if you see a wireless controller tap on it and then give it a two to three second after that it's gonna be connected for that you're gonna click on done now then a uh, close the setting after that you can open up any browser you want you can type in DS4 for Windows and click on enter and after that you're gonna tap on the first link and after that you're gonna tap on blue the download button after that you're gonna tap on the uh, blue download button now you're gonna tap on the arrow and you're gonna click on show in folder after that you're gonna right click on it and you're gonna click on extract all you click on extract and after that you're gonna see it's gonna start extracting and now you're gonna see only this so now you can close all the other thing and now the only thing that matter is this now you're gonna tap on the ds4 for windows and now you're gonna look for ds4 windows and you can double click on it and then you're gonna get this problem if you're running the windows 11 there's something in it so it's called the dot net so after that you're gonna click on yes and now it's gonna open up your a uh, default browser after that it's gonna start downloading dotnet 6.0 okay so after that is downloading you're gonna uh, click on it then after that you're gonna click on install and then you're gonna click on yes and then you're gonna uh, hit close after that now you can open up the ds4 for windows once again so just go to your ds4 for windows and then click on ds4 windows and this time it actually gonna work and for this you can do program folder or app data it doesn't matter so I'll, I'll just do app data just give it a few seconds and after that you're gonna get a pop-up just click on yes and then you're gonna get this right here for the step one you just and click on the step one you're gonna see it's gonna start downloading I click on next click on I agree and click on next again I click on install after that this is hit finish and for the step 2 it's only for the Windows 7 user so if you are running Windows 7 you can hey, click on the step 2 and for the step 3 we already did that we already connect via a Bluetooth at the start so that's why, why we don't need to do the step 3 and for the step 4 and 5 is optional so now you just gonna hit close and for the controller now you're gonna get this right here now you're gonna hit start and so just like that your controller is connected and first thing you can see is it's connected via Bluetooth so, so it's completely wireless and for the next thing, you're going to see the batteries. For me, it's only 87%. So if your battery just run out, you can always use the cable. You can just go right, and you're going to see the uh, color button. It can change to any color you want. So if you just tap on it, you're going to actually use any color you want. So just tap on each custom color. And now you, now you can choose any color you, you want. So if, if I just want to do sign, if I just see my controller, the uh, color going to be sign. If I want to do blue, my, my controller will be blue. If I want to do red, my controller will be red. So there, that is pretty cool. So for, uh, for this example, I'll just use pink. That right there. And after that, you're gonna hit close. For the next thing, you're gonna see purple. For that, you're gonna see it's on default. Click in any purple. You're gonna tap on the purple, and you're gonna click on new. After that, you're gonna click on no, and you're gonna get this right here. So, so with this software, you can customize every button from your keyboard to your, your controller. So. So if a game that it, it doesn't support it, you can actually use this to make that game and support it. After that, look at this, you can customize every button on this thing, even the a PS button. So for example, if I have to do PS button and then if I want that to be Windows, I just click on it. And now for the profile name, just I'll do PS4. To that, you're gonna click on save, go to the controller. For the select profile, now you're gonna tap on that profile PS4. So for example, if I hold the PS button, it's gonna open up my Windows menu. How cool is that? So there's another thing that is actually important. If you're playing any game, make sure you don't hit close. You always hit minimize. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.